ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. All I ever wanted yo, this is crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. Back in 1985, I came into Israelite School of UPK. There were 20 wooden chairs on the men's side. And those chairs weren't even filled up. Less on the feet, women's side. Now, we are at the arena. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser. I don't like people either. I don't care if you're not a jigger and want to meet you. Just give me my motherfucking check if we do a feature. Tell Michael Jordan he can keep his fucking sneakers. Walk inside your favorite church and just drop your preacher. Cause he ain't gonna drop the right shit that he should teach you. But what about Obama? Nigga, I don't like him either. What has he done for us? We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center, 198 Central Ave. Right plane, New York, in the cars. They got million dollar houses. Have you seen ours? See, we get mesmerized and fail to recognize that they don't sympathize. A hundred dollars for all adults, 17 and over. Kids are for free. Start sending in your funds today. But first, we got to find out why this is happening, man. We got to find out why this is happening because the Lord despises a certain people on the face of the earth, man. Because these people have gone all throughout the earth and been terrorists on the earth, man. Have been criminals, have been thugs all throughout the earth. And we're gonna find out who these people are and who are going to bring war on the earth, man. Tell them where you at. This is Romans chapter nine and 13. As it is written, the Bible says, as it is written. Where is it written, man? Where is the prophecies about America being destroyed written? Right here in this Bible. The same Bible that they tell us, oh, oh, the white man wrote that book. That book is not real. This is not, guess what? They want us to believe that because this Bible is actual history. This Bible is actually is the history of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And guess what? Not only is our history, it's our constitution, and guess what? It's our prophecies. The Bible tells us what to look forward to. And right here, it's going to tell us what to look forward to regards to World War III. Keep reading. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Now this right here is bad rock for us to understand. The Bible says, for Jacob have I loved, man. Who is Jacob according to the Bible? Jacob is the 12 tribes of Israel. The real Jews, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know why? You know why we say that? Because guess what? The so-called oppressor has deceived the entire earth into us believing that those imposters in the land right now are the real Jews. Why do you think it's so much turmoil in Israel? Why do you think it's so much turmoil in the Middle East? You know why? Because all throughout our original land, you got imposters, man. You got people living in that land that do not belong there. You know, you know, they do it everywhere. You think this land belongs to the so-called white man? Guess what? This land wasn't originally theirs either. We all know how the oppressor got this land. The same way they get every land. They steal, they lie, they murder, man. They like to call it conquering. No, what they do is crimes, man. The so-called oppressor is the criminal on the face of the earth. They make us out to be black men and Hispanic men to be thugs and to be criminals. Criminals, man. But guess what? We've learned from the best. We've learned from the original criminal. We've learned from the number one thug and the number one murderer. And that's the so-called oppressor, man, the colonizer. And guess what? The Lord has said that he loves our people. The real Jews, and guess what? He also says something about another people. Keep reading. 14, what shall we say then? 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau. But who? But Esau. But who? But Esau. Esau, right? Who is Esau according to the Bible? If you any Bible scholars out there, you would know. You just said it, brother. It's so-called white man. You gotta understand, the, the terms that we call our races now weren't the terms, thank you brother, get a flyer. The terms that we call ourselves now weren't always the terms we would use. Guess what? The Bible is actual history. And the Bible gives a name to every race now. 
The yeah. blacks experience the Native Americans yeah. are the nation of Israel. The so-called white man is the nation of Edom, a.k.a. Esau. And right here, the Bible is referring to the white man. Read it again. But Esau, the so-called white man. But Esau, have I hated? Have I what? Have I hated? Have I loved? Have I hated? The Bible said the Most High hates the so-called oppressor, man. And guess what? If the Lord hates him, shouldn't we do what the Lord says, black man, Hispanic man, Native American, Indian man? We're trying to join with these people and join America when the Lord says he hates these people, man. He hates America for their crimes, man. For their crimes and actions, man. The 400 years of murder, of rape, of robbery, man. Do we not understand? Listen, we don't care about any other people besides our own. But guess what? The so-called oppressor has been a devil all throughout the earth, man. In Afghanistan, they, they killed a million Iraqis at the 9-11, man. All throughout Asia, Vietnam, they dropped atomic bombs on Japan, man. All throughout the earth, the oppressor is a devil. But guess what? Because blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans don't have an army of their own, because we don't have a government of our own, we don't have a nation of our own, guess what? We are done the worst. We are on the bottom. And guess what? This is why the Lord hates the so-called white man, man. This is not our words, man. This is not hate speech. We just read that God loves you, black man. But guess what? With love, there's another emotion. And the Bible says, read it again, man. Tell them where you at. So they know these not, these not us just coming out here saying that this is the word of the Bible, man. This is God's words. Romans chapter 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. The Lord hates the so-called oppressor for his actions. Give me 2 Andrew 6 and 9, man. We got to understand something. When we hear the word hate, we hate to hear the word hate. You know why? Because we associate it with what the oppressor does when he hates. When the so-called white man hates, he lynches black men. He puts abortion clinics in our neighborhoods. He floods our communities with crack cocaine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I bet we didn't know that. It's, that's been declassified already. The so-called American government, the CIA, are the reason why our family was hooked on crack. It's the reason why it was a, a crack epidemic in our neighborhood. They want to portray us as just drug addicts and, and, and lowlifes when they were the ones putting the drugs in our community, man. That's hate right there, man. Hate is to kill innocent black people in the street for no reason. Hate is what that devil did to Tatiana Jefferson, what that devil did to Botham John. What those devils did to Emmett Till, man. What those devils did to Oscar Brego, man. That's hate. And that's why when we hear the word hate, we, we shy away from it. But guess what? When we say we hate the white man, we're saying, listen, we love our people. We don't have enough love for the oppressor to give to him, man. We've been giving him our love for 400 years. And guess what they do with it? They take it and they spit in our face. You know why? Because they will never love us. They are incapable of loving us. And that's why the Lord hates them, man. They're incapable of mercy, compassion, humanity. America loves to say this is the shining, the shining nation on the hill. Freedom, justice, equality, humanity. All those beautiful words America loves to say. It sounds good on paper, but guess what? America is the land of liars. America is the land of murderers, of thieves, of sexual deviants, man. And that's why God hates the so-called oppressor, man. Tell them where you at. This is second. And guess what? And that's why God has to put an end to America. And that's why he's going to. Because of this wicked place. Because of how the oppressor treats the Lord's children. Like, the oppressor thinks nobody sees what's going on. The oppressor thinks that God has forgotten about the crimes against our forefathers, man. The so-called white man is living delicious off of the sacrifices and the murder of our people, man. And they feel like it's rightfully so. Like, yes, so what? We earned it. That's what? You did earn it. You earned it. And guess what? With that comes something else. So we're going to get that. Read where you at. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 9. For, Ace, for Esau is the end of the world. Now, we just read who Esau is according to the Bible. That's the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? And right here, the Bible is saying, for Esau is the end of the world. Read it again. For Esau is the end of the world. The Bible is saying the so-called white man is the end of the world. Now, that sounds like it's racist. Guess what? It shouldn't be hard to believe. Look what's going on in the current media right now. Look what's going on. 
We are damn near on the brink of World War III. And it's not blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's doing those negotiations. Right. It's not us authorizing drone strikes on, uh, on military leaders. It's not us sending troops and, and driving Navy vessels into other countries' vessels, man. It's not the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Guess who it is? It's America. It's Russia. It's the so-called white man, man. The end of the world is going to come from their crimes, from their arrogance, man. And guess what? It's going to be glorious in the Lord's sight because the Lord wants America to fall, man. You know why? Because if, when America falls, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans rule. When America falls, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans won't be murdered in their own homes. That's Our right. children won't be molested, man. Our children won't be in cages on the border, man. Our people won't suffer from poison water, from poison food, from poison air, man. That's why America has to end. And Esau is the end of the world. But guess what? Everybody knows history. With every fall of one great empire, what happens after that? Another one rises up. That's right. It's all throughout history. And guess what? Whose empire is coming next after America falls? Let's find out. Read from the top. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob and who? And Jacob and who? And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Esau is the end of the world. The so-called white man is going to destroy the earth with thermonuclear warfare. It's going to be beautiful, man. It's going to be beautiful. Don't get upset and scared when you see World War III approaching, black man. If you get scared, you should get scared enough to come in here if you're really that scared, man. If you're really that fearful what's going to happen, you should come in here and get protected. You know why? Because the Lord is ordaining all of this to happen. That's right. You know why? Because he wants this kingdom to fall so our kingdom can reign, man. That's right. When every great civilization falls, empire falls, another one rises up. And guess what? Jacob's empire is coming next. You know what I'm saying? No, listen, no black, Hispanic, or Native American Indian man should be scared of World War III. Well, listen, we've been, been, a war has been waged on our people since 1492, man. A, way, a war has been waged on our people since we've been here. What are we scared of war for, man? We should want war. Not by our own hands, but we should sit back on the sidelines and let the oppressors do what they do. You know why? Because our protection, our safety is in the most high, man. And that's why it's so important, man. If y'all ain't paying attention, it's time to wake up. It's high time to wake up, man. The Lord is revealing more and more as it happens day by day. We are coming closer and closer to the end. You know, for a long time, we always heard we in the last days. The end is near. Repent. You see them nutcases on, this, on, the, on the corner with the sign? The end is near. Armageddon, some shaggy looking devil. Guess what? The Bible is saying that. And guess what? It's time that we come into the truth and that we get protection, man. We do what we have to do to make sure that we are safe. Because guess what? The world is going to continue to go. If you understand, the, world, the, the, the word world only means age or society. So just because after, after this empire falls, the earth is not going to go anywhere. I know they, they like to lie and say global warming and all that. Okay, whatever. Listen, the earth is always going to be here, man. And guess what? Once this empire falls, our empire is going to be here. Right. Through the reign of Christ. A That's black right. man named Christ, man. A black man named Christ. I know you sound like fairy tales. Guess what? You keep watching the news. Them drone strikes ain't fairy tales. You ask Qasem Soleimani, is it a fairy tale? He'll tell you it's the fire is real. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He'll tell you the hate is real, man. Right. ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. Crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. Back in 1985, I came into Israelite School of UPK. There were 20 wooden chairs on the men's side, and those chairs weren't even filled up. Less on the feet, women's side. Now we are at the arena. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to a moment. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. 
I ain't a people pleaser, I don't like people either I don't care if your Nas a Jigga ain't wanna meet ya Just give me my motherfucking check if we do a feature Tell Michael Jordan he can keep his fucking sneakers Walk inside your favorite church and just drop your preacher Cause he ain't gonna drop the right shit that he should teach ya But what about Obama? Nigga, I don't like him either What has he done for us? We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center 198 Central Ave White Plains, New York, 10606 Diamonds in the cars They got million dollar houses, have you seen ours? See, we get mesmerized and fail to recognize that they don't sympathize. A hundred dollars for all adults, 17 and over. Kids are for free. Start sending in your funds today. For booking information, check us out on the ISUPA 51st Annual Pass Over Facebook page. More updates will be available soon. Last but not least, Israel, Commandant General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. If you're a black, Hispanic, or Native American Indian male, and you want to participate in Hebrew Academy 2021, contact the nearest camp leader in your city to see if you got what it takes to be a soldier in the Army of Christ under Commanding General Yohanna. ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st Annual Passover.